Hey guys, Kid Guru here for the Tech World, and today I have a quick software I want to show you, a quick tip for you podcasters and you media users, I guess anybody who records video or especially audio, because this is really uh, a really, really cool app, and it's cross-platform, so it works for Windows, that's XP, Vista 7, OS 10, Tiger, later, uh, and Linux, various, various Linux versions, as you can see here. Um, it's a free app, uh, though, you know, if you do check it out uh, and you feel like it's really, you know, something you use a lot, you may want to give back to the creator, you can donate. Uh, they have a tip jar right here, so, you know, you can help them out because they are providing this app for free, and it's a really, really great app from the Conversations Network. It's called a Levelator. Basically, what this is, uh, is, uh, I can have to minimize this first, or actually, let me pull open this first and then show you. So the level later, I'm getting this out of the way, you can see from the application, it's a very, very simple, very simple interface. This is about it. You can you know go to the help menu here to check out some stuff, check out the forums for bugs and stuff like that if you want to report that. Basically, if you record any podcast using any software like Skype or anything like that, for example, I use Pamela. Now, when you're recording, one thing you may forget to do or something that just kind of happens when you record is uh, your output and input levels are kind of messed up so that... Like, uh, you know, my voice may be a little bit louder than my co-host or any, you know, any multiple number of co-hosts. Their mic yes, may sound, and he goes my Mac, but uh, uh, I should say that their voice may sound lower than mine or maybe, you know, not as equal. Mine might be overpowering them or theirs might be, you know, overpowering me depending on how the settings are. Uh, you know, it's not always equal. It's not always level. And what this does is it automatically levels your audio for you uh, in a really simple way. As you see here, drag your, it has to be a wave or AIFF file. So you may want your program like Pamela or something to output in wave or AIFF. And then afterwards you can, you know, render it as an MP3. Um, so I'm going to open up Audacity on a pro recent podcast that I did. And as you can see here, comparing the two, um, right here, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to hear this through my speakers. You may not, but if I hit play here on this, or on the right window here, you can see my audio is nice and loud, but you can see the wave, but when it gets to my friend Jamal here in the podcast, the waves dramatically drop, and I'm not sure if you can hear him through my speakers here, but there you go, so uh, his audio is a little bit lower than mine, it's, you know, it's bearable, I can still hear it, uh, it's, I should say audible, not bearable. But, you know, when I want, when I go through editing, I, maybe something I might want to boost up just so that, you know, he is, he's up to uh, par with my audio levels. That way we don't sound like we're kind of competing with each other's, you know, audio. And after I output it through Levelator, and Levelator automatically does it, you just drag the file in and it let it do its work, and then it outputs it. Um, listening to the audio again. Oh, I should say stop here. And then start it for Jamal's audio. You can hear that his audio is much louder, and not only louder, but even with mine. And you can see all the audio in the whole show is very, very level. Everything's exactly you know leveled. So something you may want to do before you start editing your podcast: take the file, drag it through the leveler. And the way this works is basically wherever you drag the file from. So let's say in your it's in your documents folder. Um, let's say it's called Podcast One. You drag it the file into Levelator and you drop it, once it gets done rendering, it's going to output it to wherever your, your file came from. So if it was in your documents folder, it'll put it out there. If it's in your desktop, it'll put it there. And the ending will simply be podcast. It'll be the same file name. It'll be like podcast1.output. So you'll know which one is the output of Levelator. It'll just have the extension .output on it. And that way, uh, as you can see here from the top of Audacity, oh, sorry, this is the original file name, and then once it gets done, it was .output. And after that, you can take that .output file, drop it into Audacity. All your audio will be level. You can then proceed to do your editing. You can add your intros, outros, cut some parts. You can balance out the audio a little bit more if you want to tweak it, if you want, like, you know, I know that it's going to be kind of hard with everything level to see the, you know, the you know, those pops, those background noise. So you might want to run that, you know, background noise check. There's a lot of effects you can do using Audacity. But these are just some tools, you know, paired with Audacity and Levelator. Great tools for you podcasters out there, or even for you video creators out there. If you use, if your video software, um, if you actually record, I know some people record their audio on a separate, you know, in a separate file. You can, you record it to a wave and then run through Levelator. Uh, especially if you have multiple people in your, you know, podcast or video podcast or whatever it may be. Do check it out. Cross-platform, great app, The Love Layer 2. All links and information will be in the podcast description. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe.